computer instead. Let's see if that works. Okay. Uh, sorry, do you want me to share the sc my screen as well, or did you want to did you want to go through it, Fabian? Oh, you can share. I have it open here. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Okay. Um, I've never done this before. <laughs> Welcome to the memory team meeting. Uh, it is June the 28th, uh, and this is our weekly team meeting. So we have a couple non-verbalized uh, updates for the PDO, uh, and CZ is unfortunately not able to attend because he is on vacation in a very nice spot. <laughs> um, Oh yeah, so there was a question though. Um, I think I raised it in the retro because I, I'm like never sure how committed we were to this delivery deliverable label thing because it seems like we're like as a team maybe do not apply it everywhere. Like because last time the summary was oh we ship these thirty things. No oh, sorry, like we ship these five things, but here are these twenty five more <laughs> things we also did. So like we only attach it to a tiny percentage. So I don't know like what this feeds into or if we should be doing it and when but i feel like if we commit to doing it we should do it everywhere but not do it at all otherwise it's just kind of silly yeah. it's a good it's a good question i can give you my perspective so the deliverable label feeds a couple of product pages where it lists i think everything that is scheduled for the next milestone um i have been reminded that this is important I personally, I'm not a fan because it doesn't support epics. And I find issues are often too small to really present sort of customer value if you're doing something big, but that's yeah. the only thing that gets rendered. So I would say maybe for now, just, put just apply them. Because I think, I think just apply them on everything. Was... Yeah, and okay. then that's, that's maybe the easiest thing. So even on issues that we, <laughs> because what I always thought is weird, it's like not really a commitment, right? Because often we create issues in within the same milestone, like five days before the milestone is yes. over and we fix it then immediately. We just do it to have an issue again, to point an MR. Yeah, I think, I think the thing that we do in Geo, which is slightly different, which we could also do is if we say we are going to, we have it in our planning issue, everything that is explicitly called out gets a delivery, a deliverable thing, because that's what we know already ahead of time we want to do. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, often our planning issues are, we are going to work on this epic and then it becomes a problem again. So maybe for now, apply apply to every everything yeah. and then we'll see how it goes. I think, I think so. I think, I think the, my, I think the reason why we never really applied it consistently is because there was no clarity on when to do it. So I think the easiest way would be to say, do it everywhere or don't do it anywhere. <laughs> so if we want to do it, then let's do it everywhere because then yeah. you don't have to- I think let's do it work. everywhere and see okay. how that goes. And that's probably the simplest thing we can do. It creates the least amount of overhead. And if that, I hope that at some point we'll, we'll do this on epics, at which point it becomes a lot more sensible, at least yeah. for me. Um, I think I agree. that's yeah. that's my suggestion. So just out of curiosity, what, what does that feed into? So so let's say we put deliverable on and then it slips. So does the does this feed into some kind of metric that like? Yeah, it's like I think it, it feeds into the um, the this page here. One second. Uh, Um, uh -huh. you click on that. Oh, this I've is, never, I've never even seen this before. Yeah. That's it's a, also a gigantic long list. So this is generated somehow. Yeah. That's generated with the deliverable labels. Okay, cool. Right. And so it, it just, all right. But what is a good example when we shouldn't apply deliverable label? No, I think we just because. said we we use it everywhere. Yeah, Basically. but okay. Oh, you mean but in that's general? Too... Yeah, in general, like why do we even have this label then? We have it because we essentially for planning. The intent was to say we plan one month ahead, and we're saying we are going to do these ten things, 
And all of those 10 things are in issues and they, they are scoped at a level where they provide customer value. And so I'm going to call it a deliverable because we are committing to doing it. Mm. This does so not necessarily re reflect the, the way things work, mm. um, nor does it necessarily map really well to how many teams work. Yeah, it's tracked um, at, a, at a section level as well, right? There's yes. no mention of teams here. This is generally like none of this is anything we are working on. Yeah, um, which is probably why that ask is being made because we're not rendering anything in here. I have no data for how many people look at this page or any of it. Okay. So I think the easy, the simplest thing today, I think would be to just apply it on everything and right. move on in my, in my opinion. Um, Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's good okay. And I will, I will maybe find some time and try to make it into like make this page render epics because I feel that is much more interesting yeah. for people to read. Um, and that's why I've generally resisted this because it feels like creating a lot of overhead. But that's if it's important, then let's at least do this. That's the simplest thing we can do. Yeah. All right, thanks. Um, cool. Did you want to verbalize? Oh, yeah, I verbalized this. I'm going to be in the US, uh, in the in the US time zone. So I'm actually, this is wrong. I won't be able to attend our office hours for for that time because I'm going to be on US time zone. So I'll be asleep. I still will be in our weekly meeting because that should mm -hmm. should be fine. Um, just so you know, I'm not not showing up to office hours because I've decided it's terrible. It's just I'm asleep. Um, yeah. And then lastly, um, I have it on my list to review our memory direction page this week. Maybe I get to it, maybe next week, um, because we've had a ton of really good discussions on where we want to go and some longer term things. And I want that to be reflected on there. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'll ping all of you for uh, for um, review, um, just a heads up. Sounds good. Yeah, that's those were my points. Okay, so unless there's anything else, should we go to the billboard or? Yeah. Um, when do we go through the validation board again? We haven't really done it much lately, right? Uh, it's it's a thing that happens mostly if you have a PM that has a lot of time that can do all of this, um, which is not the case, but hopefully will be the case soon. Um, is it also okay to leave you to it? Because I got double booked on another meeting and yeah, yeah. I was just asked to join Yeah, that. I think this is not going to take very long. Sure. Cool. Um, so, well, if I don't talk to you this week again, have a good rest of the days. I'll be off on Thursday and Friday. Thursday. Yeah. Trying cool. to shepherd an, a one and a half year old to toddler through multiple okay. airports. So. Oh, yeah. All good right. luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thank good you. luck. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I, I can start, I guess. Um, I think we went, like, I think nothing has changed in the close column, right? Just looking at this, correct me if I'm wrong, because I definitely talked about my stuff last week. Uh, well, maybe I closed a couple of uh, feature parts. What? And related issues, but I'm not sure which up. ones are all very similar. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest issue. That's but just, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we did. Yeah, we definitely did last week. Oh, it's easy. Fix this. Really cool. Um, that that was the leftover um. Uh, from the deprecation work, uh, for the big release that we forgot. <laughs> So uh, CZ actually picked this up. Uh, so that, that was merged last week. So that's cool. It'll now go out with 14.1. I don't think it's a big deal that we missed it. It's just cosmetic, really. Uh, but it's nice to fix it. Are they sorted by the close date? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, actually. Probably, yeah, I guess. Probably, yeah, probably by the time they made it into close, I guess.
Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know, like say like my, my stuff is from if you want to talk about anything, let me know. Like my stuff is from more than a week ago. Yeah, I think nothing super specific. I we close like the whole unicorn epic by closing the very, very last uh documentation update. Mm -hmm. So the whole epic is now closed. And yeah, we finally over. And uh I think that I closed everything related to build cube worker, but I'm not really sure if it was this previous week. So yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah, maybe have another look at this one when we get a minute. Cool. Uh, nothing in verification. Yeah, I have two things in review. Uh, uh, this I'm actually yeah, uh, Nicola, some good feedback. I'm, I'm, so this is basically if you remember we had this problem when we it's actually not specific to load balancing. It's just in general we have like a client middleware and sidekick uh, which increments the Prometheus counter. Um, and the, just the way Psychic works is that if you schedule a job for future execution, so anything like cron jobs, but now also because of load balancing, these delays that we inject into workers to, if they, um, yeah, to try again reading from a replica, for instance. Um, so these now get counted twice uh, because they first go through the client middle. It's very strange, like in Psychic. You can re register the client middleware both for the client, but also for the server, because the server might also be enqueuing jobs. So if you want the, cl the client middleware uh, to well be enabled always, you need to edit twice. Uh, so so this means if this job gets executed in the future, it goes to that middleware twice. Uh, first, because you schedule it, and then when it actually runs. So um, we double count all these jobs. So what I'm trying to do in this MR is, uh, there was some back and forth about how to approach this. But basically what I'm doing now is, uh, I, I still count it twice, but I add an extra dimension to the metric, or like a new label, so that we can, if we want to in dashboards, we can then untangle that. So we can say, which ones are actually executions, you know, uh, and which ones were just in the queue because they were waiting to run at some future point. So um, yeah, I'm looking at some test related stuff there. Yeah, and then I started to work on the Ruby free bump or like unblocking this, I guess. There were like a dozen or so uh, gems that had to be bumped uh, to add Ruby free support and get rid of deprecation warnings and all that stuff. This one was a lot of work because <laughs> it was one of these issues where, yeah, it's a one-liner in code, but um, there were like a dozen different things that were really complex to test related to, that's our object storage wrapper for Google, uh, for GCP, GCS. Um, so I had to set up GCS storage and then walk through all these scenarios like build trace chunks, uh, break cleanup jobs, then all kinds of things, build artifacts, like all these things that end up running to object storage for different paths. And we actually found a regression in <laughs> this gem. Uh, so uh, uh, Stan already immediately sent a fix <laughs> to the upstream gem and that already got merged. So um, this is wow. back in review now. It's actually 1.15 now because they bumped the team, the, I don't know who maintains that gem, the community. Um, they um, released a new version. So I'm just waiting for the maintainer review. Um, yeah, and that's that's me. Um, and well, maybe you, you guys can connect, go next, and then I just had a question about what to work on, on next. But, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, I guess I can go next. Like this investigative archive trace record should be closed. Like I think that I closed the issue. I don't know why it's there. I'm pretty much sure that I closed the issue. Uh, this one here. But may may maybe the label stayed like workflow in dev. Maybe it's not automatically moved. Oh yeah, no, that was not. the one. Okay, I will close okay. it later because right. we figured out what's going on. And but yeah, I'm not sure what the decision in the end was. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'll, I'll check. But yeah, we figured out what's happening, and based on that, I think that we introduced some better metrics as well. But this is related to the second issue. So I don't think that we should spend any more time on this because this is expected behavior. Maybe I will ping Camille or someone else who introduced this change to ask. Because what was happening there is it seems that 
this uh, archive trace worker. Oh, sorry, that's different thing. You want this one? No, no, no. The, the, you can open the archive trace worker because I'm still talking about it. Uh, this one was really strange because from the beginning when load balancing was enabled, we, we saw these spikes and this, this particular worker always used replicas. So since we enabled the load balancing for Sidekick, even this, this worker didn't, wasn't configured, like it doesn't have the data consistency at all. So it should be hitting primary by default. So this the feature flag can, had no effect, basically? No, no, there is no feature flag. There is no data consistency at all. So we never yeah. aimed to move this worker to use data consistency. Hmm but it still hits replicas okay. and the reason for is uh, for it is if you scroll if you scroll down i think that i wrote some big <laughs> explanation <laughs> it seems that the, the specific code like behind it has some custom optimization and it was configured to use actual feature flag that is enabling like some stuff that are sticking and unsticking this hmm. work for some uh, other case because for this work here this behavior was always hitting primary because the road balancing wasn't enabled but like clearing the artifacts from the main thread like was using this sticking and unsticking and now when we enabled load balancing for sidekick as well it's still utilizing this so i think that we don't have problem because the data consistency is still uh, so it's just tech debt? Like cons because, conserved because yeah. it, this will work. We will pay attention to not like read stale reads because of this custom yeah. implementation, but, but it's unrelated thing to our data consistency or anything else. So I will maybe just ping, I already pinged uh, Camille, so this is but he Basically that. then, so this should probably be then, um, it's hitting replica. It is actually supposed to, but it uses a different mechanism to ensure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Is this just tech that then so that it should probably be using the data consistency functionality, but it just has its custom role functionality? Yeah, that, okay. That's true. Uh, in this case, I would just reassign it to the team who owns it and because it's cosmetic, basically, right? Yeah. 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 So okay, as I cool. said, it can be closed, but it was really complex to figure out what's going on. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, I imagine. It was cool, really thanks. confusing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for working on that. Cool. Yeah. Uh, about the first one, I didn't really have time. Like, this is really small, small thing. But like, recently, I was reviewing uh, zillion MRs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, they just keep piling up on my uh, board. Yeah. So uh, I will probably like just prepare MR and push it. If you I feel overwhelmed, I'm... there's also the, the throttle thing, you know, where you still get assignments, but not as many, the yellow diamond. Ha, huh. yellow yeah, diamond it's... is for that. Yeah, maybe I will consider to add it because, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, like, it'll, it'll I, make I it keep look, getting the, like... the database, and like only today yeah. I got four, re four wow. reviews. So. Yeah, 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 I can, I feel it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and cool. uh, like the, the board is not reflecting, but I open it two new issues. One is to like remove the default uh, environment variable that enables load balancing for sidekick. So I think this is important to like remove so we can nice. like yeah. finish thing. closing things down. And yeah. the second one is also pretty much simple uh, to remove default defaulting data consistency to always and just convert all workers. So when we introduce a new worker, the exception will be raised if the data consistency is not configured. So ah, this will good. force yeah. other other developers to That's like good. make a decision and like choose do we want to utilize the load balancing or not? Because now with good the idea. current behavior they will just keep like adding new workers with yeah. the default data consistency always, which is maybe yeah. not something that we want. So uh, I will probably finish this improve retry mechanism and go and start working on those two. Cool. So from my side, this issue is unfolded into bigger things that I was expecting. So initially our idea was 
to improve the suboptimal way how we decide if we ready mm -hmm. to unstick from primary and our decision point was that all replicas should be caught up which is not very optimal because for us it would be enough where is the mall, right? mm -hmm. for us it would be enough to at and least not, have one not, replica not and, just because it's sorry alexi sorry i just want to say not just because it's squaring all the replicas but the chances that we will pick replica it will happen only if all replicas are caught up and yeah but you're yeah, basically having okay a with single it to have one. ah yeah yeah having that's a good point yeah yeah oh you only one yeah yeah that makes sense yeah mm -hmm. cool yeah because now but, we for, 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 this is not for psychic this is for web on web we are waiting for all replicas to be to be ready in order to utilize load balancing so we mm -hmm. will query a lot more replicas if we just choose one that is ready and not wait for all of them okay sorry alex i just wanted to point out yeah but i mean we don't know how often this happens so we decided we need a metric to understand how our improvement will unfold because we don't know how often it would cause the code to choose primary instead of replica and how often not all replicas are caught up. So we started with the metrics, but it's tricky because middleware order screws us up because when we deal the load balancing decision, we don't have metrics yet. And it's a bit of awkward chain of notification currently. But don't we so, already have a, 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 sorry, a Postgres level metric for tracking replication lag? If you can break it down by host, then you should know that. No, no, no. But we, we, mm -hmm. we, we want to understand how often we not uh, picking replica because of this code, mm. because we want this particular okay. logic to be quantified somehow mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. understand how often we traverse over replicas and not able to pick it mm -hmm. currently if only one of the replicas is uh, delayed then we are not able and we want to understand how severe is the situation so we need metrics otherwise our improvement would not be very easy to verify validate so yeah we want just a simple metric how often do we fail to primary when we calling this all code up code mm -hmm. so but yeah it's a bit of uh, mess with middleware because we need to rearrange them because we need a transaction to be in place to increase counters or postpone this so i'm currently trying to make it happen but it's tricky and it's only a first stage we introduce a replica we need to quantify is it even a problem and how often it helps and we need to roll out the updated logic under the feature flag monitor it check the check the metrics and then remove the feature flag so it's a bit <laughs> a drag but yeah yeah but it's not a simple simple thing to do so i think that this is the right direction because we need to measure the impact and we need to be extra safe there. Because everything uses this this logic, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's risky. risky. Mm -hmm. it's risky. As for as for us, the yeah. issues uh, I see that uh, Matthias posted some updates on memory intensive endpoints. I actually was able only to look at a single one on Thursday, and uh, I think Sidzi asked for a group source code. PM. So we rearranged one of the issues already, and we have yeah. There was just the, the follow up from last week because we I think we we don't I don't think we should I think we said we don't need to work on them. Um, yeah. But if we just like leave them in the backlog open, like my argument but, was nothing is ever going to happen. So I, I what I wanted to make sure is that we check is it still a problem, and if so, reassign it to the code owner, and then we can still help them. But like. You know, it shouldn't sit in our backlog. I think that was the whole idea. So I don't think we just spend a lot of time on it. It's just like finding out who, sh in which backlog that should move, basically. So CZ can probably help out with this. Yep. Yeah, that's that's the stuff that's that, that wasn't here. I don't think we don't need to talk about it now. Right? 
All right. Um, yeah, I had like uh, another question, which was, um, so we said we, like that our exit criteria for the load balancing epic, they're, yeah, we're pretty well defined. Um, there is the cleanup, right? That you mentioned Nicola, and I think it was one other issue. There was one issue here that was a follow-up as well. Um, where did it go? But it's oh, only yeah, for one. sidekick load balancing, right? I mean, yes. for example, my issue, it it would go into J or load balancing and it's still on our board, right? And we need to define yeah. exit criteria here as well for the team because it could also drag That's more a fair point, yeah. Stuff. That's a fair point. But I mean, even this, I mean, this definitely came out of the sidekick load balancing work. Uh, Nicola, remember that's the one where we thought it could be helpful to break it down more, this metric, but it also makes it a lot more complicated. I'm just wondering, like, are we confident that this is something we want to have now? Or like, is this something we still want to do because we did not scope it as part of the exit criteria? Uh, so I could, I could pick this up now, or I could work on the Ruby 3 stuff. Uh -huh. So I, I was just wondering if there's any preference from your perspective as well. I I don't have a preference, but I would say like related to the exit criteria and like our, our work on load balancing, like I wanted to define uh, exit criteria so we can say what was our final goal to do. Mm. But I would also include, I don't know, maybe we can include all those issues that are already scheduled for 14.1 and picked by us that we can finish them along with other things that are settle, settled in exit criteria. And then we can call it done because like yep. improvements for load balancing will continue to pop up. And like the, the other group, the sharding group also has an epic and they have their specific load balancing improvements as well. So I don't think that like memory group will be included and should be included in all of these things. But the issues that we already defined can stay maybe like we can extract them in and move them in separate epic. But I think that we can wrap it up with 14.1 and the other issues that are listed in exit criteria that will maybe sp spill in 14.2. But this one is already set in 14.1 so i think that we can like pick it up and continue yeah on. i mean wh but, which was which was a bit random i mean that's just uh, we just moved it to 14.1 and, and if we a, already a started working on all code up and like preparing that metric i think that we can still continue working on it like prepare metric roll it out under the feature flag remove the feature flag measure the impact and this will probably split to 14.2 as well, but it's not part, I would not say, okay, this is not related to the sidekick, let's move it to the separate epic and then do all the stuff in that epic. Maybe we can just finish there, like when we finish the all code out, that's it. Yeah, I guess the reason I bring it up is that, like, I want to make sure we work on stuff that we know will be useful. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not saying this is not useful to have, but so far I have not missed it. So I, I think I, I'm just wondering like if there's really pressing demand to have this because this is probably going to take a week or so to do. This is not like, because we need to remember there were so many discussions we had about how to implement this because it's, it's, it's getting really messy like with all these different levels where we need to track this stuff. So I want to make so sure only that time well spent. Probably as I understand like the concern and I also wasn't missing that, but probably one like pro towards doing it now is that we still remember the all the details and I mean yeah. it would be much That's tougher true. for the team to do that later on because they would need to talk to us and even for us it would be tougher. That's probably my argument towards speaking it now. But I also understand that it's not a pressing demand, so it's we need I to make a compromise. I, I agree with Alexei. I don't think it's like super demanding and pressing because we use this metric before and we can conclude a lot of things even at the moment. 
but before we start using this metric on some dashboards, it will be better if we have like the final look. So I would say that it will be easier because we have full context to be done by us than to be given to someone else. Like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, I, I can, like, we don't need to do it in 40.1. If you think that there are more pressing things, we can still, like, do it later. The, no, the, I don't the, think the, 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 the only, like, pressing. reason why I would do it, like, sooner than later is if we, like, conclude our work on, like, load balancing and move somewhere else, it will be great if we have the final, like, look of this metric so if we start using it in some dashboard it will be more difficult to change them later as well and as alexei already said it will be difficult to explain to someone else what we like aim <laughs> so, <laughs> because so I, I guess in next release i wouldn't remember <laughs> either what we concluded here because yeah, yeah. okay no that's a fair point pick. all right uh, no i'll probably pick it up soon then uh, sounds good okay um I think that was it. Anything else? No. All right. And I think we can wrap it up a bit early today. Sure thing. All right, I'll stop recording.